Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the motion from Unreal Engine 5.0.1 into Icron 7.9 to make it become an Icron motion file which you can apply in any of the avatar in your Icron 7 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, I'm going to open the Unreal Engine 5.0.1 I click launch from my epic game launcher <coughs> now the unreal engine 5.0.1 editor is launching As demo, I'm going to create a new project, a new game project, a third person game, and I'll just name it as my project Unreal Engine 502. Create. <coughs> now it is creating a new project file in Unreal Engine 5.0.1. Right now you can see this is a third person third person game and this is the sample map where you can find all the the motion files what do we call the animation sequence in Unreal Engine 5.0.1 it is under the content folder the character the mana queen and now you have the animations right but before that, you can see you have the many oh, and all of these are animation sequences in, in Unreal Engine. And another one is the queen. You have four animation as well. So first you have to go back to the mana queen folder. Make sure you, you export it out the, the, the skeletal mesh. That is very important. For example, the SKM queen and SKM many. Let's say now I export this. Export it on my desktop. So I will just create a new folder here. Right click new folder. This is SKM man. Right. I double click it. I double click to open the directory. I'm going to export the SKM menu, the skeletal mesh, and here. <coughs> so I right click. The asset action exports. You are going to export it as FBX. It is exporting on my desktop the SKM menu in this folder. So I click save, and here click export it is going to export it as fbx file <coughs> this is the mesh and next you go back to the mannequins folder go into the animation under the many all of these are animation sequence you are going to export it you just point on that you can see this is the animation sequence so you are going to export it here as well you click the first one, hold, <coughs> hold the shift and click the last one. Right click it, asset action, export it. You are going to export it at the same folder, but right click new folder to create an animation. <coughs> A folder name animation. You are going to export it here. Click save, export, then save. Export totally it have seven, so you have to click seven times. Actually, you enter this folder, you will see for every time you click it, exported one.
So now it, it is totally 7 FPX. So what you are going to do to make it become an icon motion file, you have to open the 3D exchange. The 3D exchange pipeline. Right. So once you already you already enter the icon 3D exchange 7, if you click here, you can activate the the reference, you can see the size. Alright. So first you back to the the folder, the SKM menu, you drag in. Then click OK. <coughs> now it is importing. And now it is asking for auto conversion. This is the Unreal Meta Human. You click OK. Yes. It automatically will just make it become a T pose. And here, at this moment, you can just export it as, as the non standard avatar, non standard character. So you are going to export it here. You copy this folder destination, and this one you choose other. Control A, delete, you paste it here. This is the destination and the geometry file name. It is going to save it as a non standard character. Click OK. Then it will make it become an I avatar. Next. It's here, you scroll down. Next time you can use the I avatar again in your, in your iClone 7. Next, it is coming to here, the animation, the motion library. Enter the animation folder, drag all of this into the motion library. <coughs> then click convert all. This one choose the current character, convert all. And you can see all of this. These are the motion. See, this is running, then walk. Everything come come very easy. Now you can see, it is really really easy, right? <coughs> <coughs> Next, you have to click add auto perform. Click here, or be here. Then you can just export it as icon motion file. Click here, and take export geometry and take export animation. Then export the RL motion, <coughs> copy the destination location, right click copy, and then replace here, control A, delete all, and control V to paste it here. Export the animation, click OK. Now you can see it, it already exported as the iCloud motion file. <coughs> all of this you can apply in iCloud anytime. Next, you open your icon, just have a test, go to the content, go to the character, sorry, click here, go to the avatar, and here you have one avatar at here, just drag, <coughs> and just have a test on this avatar. This is the icon 7 3D animation software. Okay, this is one of the icon avatar. So what you can do is just apply the icon motion file just now. For example, to walk, drag and drop into here. Now you look at your avatar, <coughs> it already can walk, right? Right, so now you already successfully just convert the Unreal Engine 5.0.1's motion, the animation sequence from Unreal Engine 5 into Icon 7.9. <coughs> and now all of this motion already ready for any Icon avatar, then you can use it in your Icon 7. 
<coughs> all right that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel <coughs> and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy animation and game developing see you